All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the off season. First, let's go look at retirements. What we're really worried about is the draft lottery. So let's see where everyone places. Spurs are number one. Jazz are two. Magic three. This is very wild. Look at this. All right, let's skip it. Jazz jump up. Where are we? Do we even have a pick? I am not seeing a pick. Nope, we were picking 27, and we don't have a pick. As you can see, these two are under contract, but I don't think they're going to be for very long. We have some big trades to make, and that starts with Kawhi Leonard. So thinking realistically, I don't think you can trade the first pick, right? We, You can't trade for... Let's see. Let's see what Kawhi's value is. Do we want a seventh round pick? And an aging Brad? No, not for that money. I can't do it. Okay. Let's go build a trade. So I think I want... I was going through it. I think realistically, the most realistic pick for us to get would be number four. And I think we're going to trade Kawhi for that, but I don't want just the fourth. Give me your 2024. Okay, we're going to go all out, and then we're just going to remove. 2025. There we go. All right, so we ended up getting two first-round picks, which are pretty beneficial, but we're not done yet. Let's go look for another trade. 2025 pick. Okay, there we go. I probably should have asked for a little more, but that's all right. We ended up making a deal. We've made some big swings, but guess what? We are not done yet. One more big trade. Zubach. I cannot handle you. You are slow. Pick six. Easy. Okay. Wow. We have a big... All right, we've made some big changes. Westbrook, I'm just going to let him walk. Norman Powell, he's under contract for three years. Mitchell Robinson's under contract for three years. Bo Tylen's under contract. He's not, actually. We're going to have to re-sign him. Terrence Mann is under contract. Hartenstein's under contract. There's the, We got some depth. Still, we may not look that good, but we're going to head straight to the draft. So here we go. Number one pick, Victor Wembanyama. That's obvious. Who else is going to go number one? Who else is going to go number one? But now it's our turn. Oh, Scoot is, doesn't look that good. We don't have anybody scouted. Why don't we have anybody scouted? Wait, why don't, why don't we have anybody scouted? Wait, why why don't we have anybody scouted? Okay, we know who we're going to take, though. We're taking Scoot at two. And we take Scoot Henderson at two. Who's going to go three? Let's see. And they end up taking Amon, Amen Thompson. Jeez, I screwed that up. Amen Thompson goes number three. We are selecting at four. I mean, I think it's a surefire pick. I think we take Brandon Miller. I think without without hesitation, we take Brandon Miller. We have a trade. Gordon Hayward and the fifth overall pick for the seventh pick and Monte Morris. That is kind of a useless trade. That's a good trade for Washington. And they take Nick Smith Jr. <laughs> we can get too much back. <laughs> no. So with the sixth pick, we are going to take Cam Whitmore. Crazy, crazy pick. Not really, but it's a pick. Jairus Walker goes seventh? Seventh. Who goes eight? Another trade for Lori Markinen and a first for Terry Rogier and the eighth pick. That's not a bad trade. And they take Anthony Black. Keontae George goes nine. Jordan Hawkins goes ten. I think top top 10 is good. Yeah, we came out like a bandit. We had Scoot at an 80. Obviously, Victor went number one. Would have loved to get the first pick, but it just isn't realistic. With Victor Wembanyama in the class, no one's going to trade up the one. It's just not going to happen, and that's not. I didn't want it to be 
super I don't know I don't care too much about realism but I also don't want it to be super unrealistic who's trading for number one or who's trading number one overall I don't care what your package is if Victor's the option that's like trading the number one overall pick when LeBron is in the draft you know he's the most hyped since LeBron but we take Scoot who is an 80 Brandon Miller who's in 79 and then Cam Whitmore who is a 77 his potential is Nick Young uh, Rodney McRae, Scoot is Eric Bledsoe. Man, they really made these guys not very good. Like, you would think they'd make them, like, you know, super good, but no, no, that's okay. That's that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's the draft. Uh, anybody cool? But yeah, that's the draft. We're gonna make sure we sign all of our rookies to two year deals. Any team options? Yep, we accept Bam or Bam Bones. Brandon Boston. Yeah, we'll keep him for that dirt cheap. Same with this guy. Same with this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we have no qualifying offers. That's cool. Real quick before we do anything. What are some team needs? Let's check our team needs first. Can't can't access that. Uh, position. Okay, so we definitely don't need point guard. We do need shooting guard. We do need small forward. We do need power forward, and we might need a center. Probably not on the center end, but a shooting guard would be dope. How am I trading the sixth pick? That's the year we're in right now, right? Yeah, how am I trading the sixth pick? I just drafted. What? Wait, am I stupid? Is that next year's first? How am I trading a pick I don't have? Because I, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, see, it's gone now. It was just glitched. It didn't. Huh. Yeah, I, I just think this is the trade. It's going to make us bad. Should we bring Westbrook back? Let him run the show with the young team? No, he wants 29 mil. That's not happening. Not for a 34-year-old. Oh, do we bring him in? He wants 20 mil, though. I don't have 20 mil to give you. Josh Hart. Come get a bag. I, I actually don't want Mike Conley. I'm sorry, Mike Conley. I didn't mean to do you dirty. Um, We needed what? A power forward, too? Ew. Nope. Jeremy Grant would be kind of cool. Is he restricted? No, he's unrestricted. He wants a lot of money, though. And I don't really want to give him the money. Okay. We offer Jeremy Grant. He accepts. Okay, those are two big signings, I feel. Wait, we didn't need Josh Hart. He'll run the two. It's fine. Right? We didn't need Josh Hart. But let me check and see. We have point guard. We need a shooting guard. We don't need a small forward. We need a power forward, and we don't need a center. Josh Hart, I, bring him on. He can run the two. We need a shooting guard. 20 mil, that's not happening. Terrence LeVert. Yeah, we'll take Terrence Ross, sure. He kind of cooked us. Terrence Ross, accept the contract. I'll, get, I'll even give you a little bit more money. Cool. We do not look good. That is just a fact. Scoot's going to be running our one. Bones behind him. Terrence Ross starting. Brandon Boston's going to be our backup. Brandon Miller is going to be our... We're not going to... We're, we're going to run. We're not. We're going to run Josh Hart at secondary small forward. Jeremy Grant starting with Rocco coming off the back. We still got Batum. We still got my man Batum. We still got my man Batum. That might actually, he, he might start. Not start, but be our backup. Player progression. Jeremy Grant doesn't move. Mitchell Robinson does move. Scoot obviously doesn't move. Bones goes up by two. Brandon Miller obviously doesn't move. Josh Hart stays the same. Terrence Mann stays the same. Hartenstein goes up by one. Whitmore doesn't change. Boston Jr. goes up by two. That's actually huge. 
Roko goes down by three. Preston goes up by three, but that doesn't matter. Book Knight goes up by two. Kai Jones goes up by two. Terrence Ross down by two. Debate up by five. Holy crap. Wait, you might actually be a rotational piece. No, I don't think you are yet. Give him one more year and he'll be a rotational piece. And then Amir Coffee goes up by one. And Batum went down by one. No, Batum, I think it's the end of your line. I'm still going to re-sign you when your contract expires. But yeah. All right. Let's go to training camp. So I am on PC, by the way, if you couldn't tell. It's not next gen, which I'm hoping 2K24. Oh, before we advance and I start talking, we are auto-generating rookies for the years on. The only reason I did this draft was because... I just lost my train of thought. The only reason I did this draft was because um, this one is happening in real life. You know, it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to. So, Scoo, I want your potential higher. Dope. Next year, we're going to need more training camps. Okay, we got to cut players. Who's at the bottom? Amir Coffee. Release. No, I can't do it. No. Batum. I can't do it. He's not going to... Preston's not going to get any PT. It's fine. Release. Batum, you live to see another day. I can't... I can't cut Batum. I just can't do it. Okay. That is the off season. Real quick, before we go on to the next episode. He has the highest potential. Yep, hire him. Head scout. Terrible. Fire him. Give me this guy. Yep. Clippers assistant coach. B minus. Fire that guy. Uh Oh, Tyron Liu. Yeah, I hate to see you go, buddy, but we got to bring in Trent Peterson. And our backup head coach, Otis Newman. Okay, weirdo. Give it to Owen Taylor, then. CFO, you're weak. Get out of here. Bring in Logan Smith. Assistant GM, you're weak. I should have done this last season, honestly. But I didn't. His trade negotiation is pretty low. Contract negotiation, though, with a bunch of rookies, we do need contract negotiation. But I think I would rather do B and B. Yeah. Okay. All new front office. Cleaned house. Brought in our own staff. Going into the next season. It's a rematch versus the Suns. And they still have Kevin Durant, but they lost. They lost uh, TJ Warren. They lost Bubba Warren. So that will be our first game back. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. I had a lot of fun making it. Oh, well, let me show the team one more time. Hold on. Let's show the team. So Scoot's going to be starting. I will not start Terrence Ross. You get the hell out of here. Cam Whitmore, you're six seven. Brandon Miller, you're six nine, so you'll run the three. We're on Cam at the two. We actually have pretty good depth, like honestly. Yeah, like we got a good looking team. Um, though. Batum, you're just going to ride the bench, my boy. I'm sorry. Yeah, that works. So, yeah, going into our first game, completely different team. We got Scoot Henderson, Cam Whitmore, Brandon Miller, Jeremy Grant, and Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson's the only one that's the same in our starting five versus their starting five that's all the same, but they look worse only because of Chris Paul, the regressing. I don't know. They still look very, very good. But yeah, if you go on to enjoy this video, 
Please like and subscribe. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you had a lot of fun watching. And yeah, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.